From the 12 investigators, the audit of so-called city slush fund is in. We've uncovered what Providence leaders call contingency funds two years ago. Alleged misuse of this taxpayer money led to the arrest and indictment of city council member Kevin Jackson and a call for this audit. And tonight, we're learning more about where the money from these funds went. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau has new details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The audit was launched after the Kevin Jackson case surfaced, and one goal was to uncover whether or not any organizations benefited from knowing Providence politicians. Among the charges Jackson faces is allegedly misusing contingency fund grant money meant for the Cobra's track team that he founded. Three years ago, Target 12 drew back the curtain on the three taxpayer funds that are controlled by the council president, finance chairman, and mayor. We found out there was no application process, no vote, and no oversight for how the taxpayer money is spent. The audit went back 10 years, asking for receipts for about $170,000 handed out by the two council accounts, and if the organizations had any connections with city leaders. Three said they did. Council member Nick Narducci was an unpaid board member of one organization that received a grant. Councilman John Igliozzi's father was an unpaid executive director of another grant recipient. And former council member Balbina Young was the executive director of an organization that received a grant while she was in office. According to the audit, she was compensated for her work, but the amount was not mentioned. The audit did not look into the grants given to Jackson's Cobras, citing the ongoing criminal investigation. 70% of the organizations responded to the request for information. Six organizations that received 14 grants over the years had no response. The audit did not seek or state whether or not any of the money was used improperly, but the receipts that were given to Providence are now available for the public and the city council to review. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.